Hello and welcome back. We're back at Focus on Imaging this 2012 and we're actually in a, a private suite with Wacom here. And uh, we've got Guido, who I believe is the product manager for professional products with Wacom. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Excellent. And what have you got to show us today? I will show you today is a brand new Intuos 5. It's this beast in front of you. Graphics tablet. So this is the latest generation of our professional and enthusiast tablet. So this is a tablet you can you can see and try here at the show. I think it's one of the first global showings of the Intuos 5 tablet mm -hmm. at all. So and a lot of nice. Let's have a look cool quick, closer look at it. Now it looks a lot like the Intuos 4. I did a I did a review of the Intuos 4 wireless uh, not long ago, but I can't stop noticing something's missing over here. Yes, here. What, <laughs> there used to be OLED displays on there. Yes. What's happened to them? The OLED displays were, at this time when we launched Intuos 4, were a very cool feature and many people liked it because um, with the Express keys, which are close to the OLEDs, here on these Express keys, eight on this model, you can put a sp any specific keyboard shortcut to any application in your workflow. And the OLEDs were quite handy to identify the meaning of that shortcut, meaning if you have an undo here, you could see undo there on the OLEDs, here, new layer, whatever. So, um, so what are we doing? We're we saving money by taking that feature off? That would be good, actually, <laughs> but uh, we have done a lot of research in the last years, and if you actually watch a professional working with an Intuos, you see the eyes are constantly on the screen. Mm -hmm. So, and they do really want to focus on the, the piece of work, and they do not want to defocus to look down, identify the OLEDs, what shortcut is there. So why not keeping the nice feature of having information about the Express Key setting, but the eyes are staying on the screen focused. So for this, we have a nice cool feature called Express View. Okay. And this is basically um, going alongside with the redesigned buttons. Here you see the buttons nicely integrated into the design. And they look like capacitive buttons. Actually, they are dual buttons with a capacitive overlay, meaning if you rest your finger, Right, for so you're just leaving second, your finger on for a second. You see, and on the screen, on screen there goes a head-up display, and the head-up display is highlighting the position of my finger. And if I move my finger here up and down, you see, I got visual feedback on my finger position on the screen and the function which is behind that button. Uh -huh. And my finger is moving here, and I'm not pressing the button actually. And even now, so you're just touching, you're not pressing. Just touching, touching, moving like with any. So, so how do you actually press the button? Um, by just having the good old tactile button click. Oh, so it's a physical button it's as well? It's a physical button below the capacitive surface, and which is nice because we are, we are combining the advantage of both worlds, having a nice new feature with the Express View, but keeping the feel, the touch and feel of a physical button, giving perfect tactile feedback on the function I have currently activating. Oh, that's a really nice combination. Really nice. So you've and got the capacitive, so you can yeah. tell where you are on the screen. Exactly. You can see on the screen where your finger and is, then, for example, and then you can click with I a physical click, click. And it opens my keyboard shortcut in this case. Fantastic, fantastic. Now that's not the only touch feature on this, is it? No, no. Touch is a big topic with Intuos 5, and uh, one of the major new things is also that we have the active area here, which you know as being sensitive for the pen since mm -hmm. generations. Is it the same pen as before? Actually, yes. We, we have decided to keep the same tech technology platform as with the Intuos 4 and the, the latest generation of Cintiq, the Cintiq 24 and Cintiq 21, to make Intuos 5 compatible with all the other professional products in mm -hmm. the portfolio. Right, Saying so you can this, use the pen. You can use the pen to get the finest precision, 2048 pressure levels, less than one gram of pressure force. But in addition to this, you can now use your finger as well uh, to have all the like, like the bamboo. gestures, like the bamboo. So you can use all the five finger gestures in modern operating system like OS X Lion or Windows 7, Windows 8. So, and even in professional applications like Photoshop, you can use the two finger gestures here. So you're, that, you're dragging with two fingers there, up, down, fingers. left, right, and on the screen and shows, are you pinch and zoom pinching. to go in and out? I can drag. Two finger to drag up, and down, left, and I right. I can also use a rotation. Ah, you can rotate as well. Is that two fingers? Two fingers. Two Trim, fingers. That on the two fingers here, just Lovely. And it's very sensitive. But actually, um, the tablet sensor can do more than two fingers. Uh, it can detect, in theory, more than ten fingers on one display. However, 
If you look at today's software market, there's just, in the professional space, just Photoshop offering two-finger gestures. But we expect, from, from a Wacom perspective, that there will be more in the, in the coming year, in the next years. And here, for those, we have, Let's have a, look at this. a nice this setup. In, in the driver, driver now, are we? Yeah. Here you can do all the standard gestures, and we have a nice pictogram showing how to work that one finger, two finger, three finger, four finger gestures. Up However, to four fingers? Um, yes. So is that four fingers up, down, left, right? Or? Yes. Yeah, but you can do even more. So this is, for example, the standard operating system. All right. So that would show me what you were doing there. That was just moving. That was four, four fingers, fingers left, left and right. right. And on the screen, that it's going the. So Apple users will be familiar with this. Exactly. This is yeah. going from screen to screen. By P default, we are using the standard operating system. But what about PC users? Can they can they use that? That gesture um, to do things? Yes, even with users, uh, we be going back up to Windows XP for a set of limited gestures, but of, of course, if you want to get the full experience, use Windows 7 uh -huh. or even Windows 8. It works already pretty fine. And you combine those gestures to keyboard shortcuts? Yes, yeah. this is something we have uh, here with a feature called My Gestures, because as I mentioned, there is no software currently in the market uh, using more than two finger gestures. So we thought about how can we get people used to work with desktop gestures in even today's applications. So here there's my gestures. And here we have a list of easy to use shortcuts like three finger, tap and hold, four finger, swipe up and swipe down. Same with five fingers. And you can link each of those to a specific function in software or keyboard shortcut. For example, you could think about throwing something away by just moving your hand on the tablet well, just like this. Swiping it away, yeah. Doing this throw away gesture to perform an undo feature in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Just let's, go here, let's go look. add Photoshop to my application specific list, make sure that it's highlighted, say OK. I want to have a keystroke here on my four finger swipe up. Clean that one. Type in my keyboard shortcut, which mm -hmm. is an undo, and give it a name just to memorize what I've done here. Right. Now it's in Photoshop, four finger swipe up, keystroke. Going back into Photoshop, doing something silly, mm -hmm. now and then four down, finger, down here, just, okay. just move up and down. And see that happening on the screen? And you can see it's yeah. performing undo. And even more intuitive is about um, using four finger swipe up to go a step forward in the protocol and moving the four finger swipe down to go a step uh, forward in the protocol. So that's, that, that's the step backwards, step forwards, exactly. which is yeah. uh, on, on, on Photoshop, I think, is Command Option Z or Control Alt Z. That's exactly the point. It's very hard to remember. You always have a mistake. Is it Control Shift Option Z or is it? Because there's that confusing behavior, isn't there, in exactly. Photoshop, where you press Control yeah. Z and it undoes, and then yeah. you do Control Z again, and it goes forward again. Exactly. Yeah. What? And here, our driver, just do it here. So it's just two so keystrokes, four fingers swipe up, step backward, swipe down, step forward. Okay. And now going in Photoshop. One, two, three, four. And moving one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Can you just show us on the, on the tablet what you're doing? Very there? convenient, up and down. And this is Lovely. very natural and very intuitive and can be used in all applications, even if they do not support any multi finger touch feature so far. Excellent. That's and I, I think there's one final feature that's worthy yes, of note. Yes, one final feature. Which is? Which is a bit hidden to the side, and this is here. Uh -huh. If you are using a bamboo tablet, you are quite familiar with this because this is the slot for the wireless accessory kit. Uh -huh. With bamboo third generation launched in September 2011, we have also launched the wireless accessory kit. And this one makes your tablet wireless. Right. And so now the one I reviewed last time was actually wireless built into the tablet. Yeah. And so now you've made a wireless connection kit that makes any of your tablets wireless. Any of the tablet, no matter if you have the small size, medium size, large size. Just plug in here. The battery is in this compartment. It's mm -hmm. a lithium-ion battery. And here we have the wireless dongle. And this is a nice compartment for the receiver. You currently find on my Mac Pro a, here. This oh, yes. Two just like one of those little... Exactly. So I can get that in focus. If you're, <laughs> if, you, if, if you're traveling, you can store them securely in here. And you don't have to install a driver. Just plug it in there, switch on the tablet, and as you could see, no pairing, no driver installation. You can use all the features within a 10 And no Bluetooth, range. so you haven't got all those awkward You haven't go to all the problems. pairing and all the issues you have with Bluetooth on a PC. Just plug it in. It's really plug and play. Great, great.
And I can't help noticing also you've got rid of that big strip that got all the fingerprints on it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we did this nice soft touch yeah. uh, appearance. And we also extended the active area a bit to avoid that the pen gets stuck in this groove. Ah. This one, these are illuminated here and yep. they are indicating the active area for pen. You can pen see where the active area touch. is. Lovely. And you have a lot of real estate around to move with your pen. Well, it's a real evolution, I think, on from the, uh, for the Injust 4. Um, yeah. Very, very interesting, and I love that heads-up display. I think that Thank you. Those, the, the physical buttons really sells it. That's yeah. fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you very much for your time, Guido. Thank you, John. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.